Yeah, that's a that's a very good question. And I think um, I think when you look at those when you look at those relationships, you always see um, you always see that they they're not good, that they end up bad. Um, so a, a good example would be Bathsheba. Right after David takes Bathsheba, um, it says it, got, it says it was not good in God's eyes, um, mainly because he killed Uriah, but also because he took Bathsheba. And you see what happens with all these kings who decided to have multiple wives or be promiscuous. It led to their demise. And this is um, this is also seen in Solomon. It says that women led his heart astray. He used to be very devoted to God, but he had I think it was like 700 wives and 300 concubines, or the other way around. He had so many women and they led him to idolatry. They led him away from God. Um, and also there's a difference between what's descriptive and what's prescriptive. If the Bible says that there was a king and he murdered someone, is it saying that, you know, kings can murder people how they want? Of course not, but it has to record what happened. And in the same way, we, we, we wouldn't expect the Bible to lie about these things and say, oh no, they were perfect. They had monogamous relationships. It records what happens, but that doesn't mean it's teaching that as what's right.